everybody, welcome back to This Is Rifle Country. And I'm out in rifle country. I'm in Carbon County, Wyoming. And what I have in my hot little hands today is the NPAP, that's Nora Papa Alpha Papa NPAP. And this is the underfolder from Century Arms. Obviously, you can see that this has an underfolder stock. Some people like these because they look super sexy, right? We like to see these in movies and so on and so forth. Now, can you shoot this gun with the stock folded under? Yes, you can. Would you want to? I don't know, you're an American, do whatever you want. Now, the gun is going to work better. It's gonna be easier to shoot and aim with the stock out. Now, before I get any further into it, I'm gonna show you what I've got right here. This is a cheek piece from Samson Manufacturing. You can put it on either side, if you're a lefty or a righty, what have you. And this gives your cheek something to rest on besides the hard steel. And it really does make a big difference. Now all you slick guys out there, you already noticed the fact that I have a hollow sun red dot on here. And it is mounted to a red dot or a weaver or picatinny, whatever you want to call it, rail. Now this rail, again, is from Samson Manufacturing. And what it does is it replaces your rear sight. You take the original rear sight out, you replace it with this, and you can mount any kind of a, an optic you want, whether it's a, a hollow sun or Neotech or you know, go crazy. It doesn't matter because it's basically a Weaver Picatinny rail. And the nice thing about the hollow sun red dot is it has the same base or footprint as the uh, T1 Micro, as the more expensive aim points. I got this from the Brownells catalog. What else did I get from the Brownells catalog? I got this right here. I got this mag uh, carrier. You can put obviously AR mags, AK mags, really super handy, you just throw it over your shoulder and you go. What other features do we have on this gun? Well, it's obviously a Kalashnikov action. It works like every standard AK that you've ever messed with. It has a polymer pistol grip right here. Uh, it takes all of your standard AK mags. And something interesting about this gun that you don't normally find on your standard off-the-shelf AK is it does have a bolt hold open safety lever. So you can pull this back push it up and lock the bolt in the open position for, I don't know, added safety. But the main reason you would want to do this is, let's say you just ripped off a 75 round drum through this gun and that barrel is super hot and you want to cool it down. How do you do that? You lock the bolt into the rear position like so and you're good to go. Obviously the magazine release lever is ambidextrous, left or right handed. And the safety on this actually has two little levers that you can use to swipe down, one up front and one in the rear. Other than that, it's pretty much standard Kalashnikov. It has a stainless steel bolt, as you can see. Uh, it's a good, solid gun. I really like the PAP guns from Century Arms. Let's talk about loading a drum magazine. This is an AK mag. Uh, it is the 75 round drum mag that's very, uh, very common. You can find these just about everywhere. This one came from Century Arms and it was made in Romania, but it's very similar to the ones you would get from Russia or Czechoslovakia, China, whatever, Serbia. Step number one, you have to open up the back. So you're gonna hit these two thumb clips, push them, and then you're going to rock it open and that exposes the guts. Now, right in the very center, there is a button. There may still be some spring tension on this, so you want to push the button, push it down hard, and you hear that? That is the spring tension being released. Now it's all loosey-goosey, right? It moves around freely. Uh, if a Russian private can figure out how to do this, you can figure out how to do it as well. So what we want to do is we're going to take the inside and we're going to spin it around. We're going to rotate it all the way until the follower, which is right here, that is the follower, until the follower stops. Now, if you just let this go, it's gonna go bing, and uh, it's gonna, well, it probably could hurt you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop about five rounds right in here, right up in the front. All right, I got five rounds in there. Once you get five rounds in, 
you can let go and that will hold it and keep it from coming around. Now, once you've done that, once you've gone ahead and wound it up, put the set the follower, put five rounds in there, now all you do is you take ammo and you put ammunition, 762 by 39 rounds, every single place you can fit them. There's single slots, like so. Then there's the double slots. What I like to do is I'll just grab two at a time, stick them in there. All right, now that you've got all 75 rounds in there, all you have to do is close this up, put the clamps back up in place, and you're good to go. Now, it basically has half spring tension, and if you're not going to use this right away, let's say you're just gonna store it, put it on a shelf, or what have you, for later, just leave it alone. If you're going to use it right now, you're going to take this handle, this little watch crank, basically, and you're gonna crank it 12 times, click, 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 and you'll hear it. Some, I think it's between 11 and 12 clicks. You crank it all the way up like an old watch until it's so tight that it won't click anymore. All right, once it's done, you load it up and you are ready to go.